Uh, this is a uh, bearing that we just removed from a vehicle where it is at the beginning of its uh, uh, damaging uh, stages. And you can see here where there's minor uh, cracks or, or pieces missing from the surface where the ball is rolling on. And it's precisely in the center where all the friction of the ball is at. Not on the sides, but on the center. You can see here where there's uh, like uh, stress marks or like if the chrome has peeled away from the race area. Like in here, right there, right here. You can see how the point of the, uh, of the center punch uh, embeds itself into the, uh, into the area where it's, where it's shattered or pieces of the material or the chrome or whatever are missing. Here you see it here also. It's not as prevalent here, but it's there. And this is at the beginning stages of failure to the bearing. The surface of the bearing here is compromised. This is the inner race. Now let's look at the outer race. As you can see here, uh, this is the outer race of the bearing that we just took out from the car. And we cut it open and you can see that the ball is only up applying its force from here to here. A very small area is the force of the load applied on but here one can see that the bearing never contacts there is no contact in this area of the bearing signifying that in a ball bearing a very narrow strip of contact is supporting the load this is evident in this images here and the other thing that we see here is that uh, in this other half of the, of the bearing, you can see already stress marks right there where the, the material is starting to go away from the bearing right here also. It's got like the, 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 the beginning of failure because you feel that the surface has been compromised. Uh, in here we can measure and the area that the bearing is applying the pressure to is approximately two millimeters. The actual ball diameter is eight millimeters.